Are you okay? Hi, and welcome to another Struggle Bus with Celia. Today I'm going to be making this macrame planter, and because my cats have made cameos in all of my other videos, I decided to invite them to join me in this one. I also think that it might make this a little bit more challenging. That might be funny for you to see. All right, let's get started. <laughs> so this is a Brit & Co macrame planter kit. This kit comes with a pair of fabric scissors, as well as a hook for hanging from the ceiling. According to this, one and a half inch by 36 inch strips. So I'm supposed to cut this into eight strips. Are you just expecting us to know what? I guess I will fold this into, stop. <laughs> fold this into eights. And this is Dane, by the way, Dusty can't really be bothered. Okay, so that's in half. I guess maybe I'll just have to like keep cutting halves. Is that how this is gonna go? Stop, Dane. <laughs> oh my God, this is gonna be so much harder than I thought. Like how important is it that these are all even? Because they didn't really make that a super accessible option. Okay, so this is quarters. I think that I'm gonna... It's me. No, thank you. I'm really scared to start this. Oh my gosh, people, what am I doing? Just gonna go for it. I'm cutting it in half. <laughs> Kitty. I guess you're pulling that top for me, but like, can you not maybe mess it up? Ooh, that was bad. That was a bad, not straight line. Uh, I guess the good thing is, I have never done macrame, this is gonna be. Was that even even? Sort of. Like, not totally, but enough, I guess. So now it's half, and I'm gonna try to do that again. This is really nerve-wracking. I'm pretty sure this is not the way they intended for this to be done. Well, they definitely didn't intend for people to be making it with their cats. Excuse me. Here, take your toy. Take your little catnip thing. Ow. Okay, so the last step is then to cut these strips in half again. These are so uneven, it's not even funny. So this is gonna be kind of ugly, sorry. Whoever ends up receiving this. Thanks for holding that top, buddy. I don't want to cut you, so please let go. Okay, we have two of the eight. It says this is supposed to take half an hour. I am usually not this messy. Yo, dude, for real? One, 
two, three, four, and then this is gonna be cut into four. Oh, he's ready to pounce. <laughs> if you want me to feature my cats in more of the videos, let me know. I'm happy to. They actually have their own Instagram account. I'll put it in the description below. Again, really not even, but what can you do? I am not gonna be able to keep this because our ceilings are wonderfully high. It's a great problem to have, um, but it just means that like I wouldn't be able to reach this. And if I hung it in a place that was accessible, you can probably guess Dusty's always the one who kind of messes up the shop. She was the one who knocked my tripod last time, and she's the one who knocked my... <laughs> oh boy. Cut this in half and we got eight. Ah, oh, lovely. I got a cat in a box. Step two, tie all eight cords together in one big knot about four inches from one end and pull tight to secure. I just really wish that there was, they gave us some kind of indicator because I'm really bad at judging lengths just arbitrarily. I mean, I guess, I don't know. I just feel like there could have been a little bit more direction. Like they could have been like, this is, however long this is, and you can use this. I don't know, I don't know. It's just, I feel insecure about what is happening right now, because I don't think it's very accurate. I think that this is too short. Oh, I skipped a step, guys. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, okay, I guess I did a good job, but I skipped a step. And this is why it doesn't look good because I was supposed to stretch them. Read the directions before you do stuff. This is really, mm. So you're supposed to stretch it lengthwise so that the edges curl. I don't want to like rip it. How, how hard am I supposed to stretch this? It just shows a picture of them like, what is, what is that? How hard is that? And I mean, they are doing this much. Am I supposed to stretch the whole thing at once or? <sighs> I mean, the edges are curling. How curly are they supposed to be though? Dang. Can you tell me what I'm supposed to be doing here? Because I am very confused. Oh my God. This really is a workout. I am sweating. These last ones aren't gonna be very good because I'm tired and frustrated. Okay, so some of these are better than others. That's not food. Some of these are more rolly than others, and I think that's because they are not all even in width because I did not measure. Okay, this looks a, a lot more like what it's supposed to though. That makes me feel better. Let's say this is where I tie it. Right here. 
Okay, so tie them all together into a big knot. Pull tight, group into four sets of two. They really give you all of these instructions about how many inches away you're supposed to be. And it's like, I don't know measurements. That's a bad thing, it's a narrow major. But I know like metric measurements better. So let's say here. I'm gonna make these even. Okay, let's do this right. This is supposed to look good and I am so concerned that it's just, I hope this works. Okay, so then what you're supposed to do is now separate these sets into four new sets of two and tie them together, approximately one and a half inches from the last one. They are really telling you to do a lot of measuring. So these are my, this is the big knot. These are the four smaller knots. So now I'm going to tie that to that, this to this. Stop it. Cool, cool, cool. If I manage to do this, I'm gonna be so happy. I've been putting this off for so long because I'm good at crafting and that means that if I think I'm not gonna be able to do a craft, I don't wanna do it because then I feel like less of a crafty person. But the problem with that is in order to get better at crafting, you have to make mistakes and learn. I tied how many knots? Four. What's next? Repeat a third time. Okay, like this is supposed to end up fitting around here and holding it. This does not look very cute. So I'm supposed to fit this around the bowl now. It feels a little tight. What did I do? What did I do? Hmm. What this is teaching me is I don't know measurements. So I think some of what I just shot might have been out of the shot. This is not what this is supposed to look like. There should be a lot less distance these, <laughs> these top knots are supposed to be where these ones are. So again, Britain Co. It would be really great if you gave a little bit more of an indication of what measurements were, because I feel like I'm gonna have to completely redo this and that's really frustrating. So get ready to watch me do this entire thing again. I'm not even gonna keep this. Oh, can't untie that because this is still tied. Dusty, I see that you are right by my mic wire. You have so many toys, including this, which is a wire that you can chew on. So do not chew on my wire. Okay, so I'm undoing these first knots, and I need to make sure that... What am I... What? What have I done? What order am I untying these in? What is happening? This is definitely taking longer than half an hour. Box lied. I don't even think that it would take me a half hour if I like didn't have to deal with these little nuggets. Okay, so, so, stop it. What I'm gonna do is, I'm just making this shorter. Like, 
that's all there is to it. Watch me mess this up again, and then I have to go back and make it longer. That would be very typical. Let's say that that's two inches. I feel like it's definitely shorter, but I'm also maybe wrong because what is measurement? Hi, Nugget. Okay, you know what would be a good idea if I like checked how this looked? Okay, so then the next one should be I see you and you're not sneaky. Okay, that looks like it could be right. So let's try to replicate that. I promised myself that I would do it. No, that's not a toy. You have so many toys. That's not one of them. Here, you can have this. You can't have this. This is one of those things where you roll your hair and it makes a really tight like ballerina bun. It's a little bit of a pain to wear it with hair that's this long just because it gets kind of poofy. If you're interested in seeing me work on that because just admitted that it's difficult. Um, let me know and I will do that. I have, I have a handful of hair things that I should probably try just because I am intimidated and I always love hairstyles on other people. Um, I just, <laughs> please stop it. Take this Okay. Boo, I love you, but you missed some neck level weird. Which is great, because so am I, but wish I knew what went on that quirky little brain of yours. Okay, now I don't know which one was first. This is what happens with makeup too. I will make a mistake and then I have to fix it by making it symmetrical, except whenever I try to make it symmetrical, I just make it worse. This is longer, I think. Whatever, I'm... <sighs> or is this too tight now? Okay, that's better. So now we tie them one more time, right? Because it's two rows of four. I need a third. Twisted it, I twisted a knot. They really make this look so much easier than it is. Granted, I could be making it look harder than it is because I am really struggling. What are the ages this is meant for? It does not say. I'm positive it's like middle school and up. Or like, once you can use scissors and up. Oh my god, I 
swear if I made it too tight now. I'm gonna lose it. All right, I have to redo this bottom one, I think, which is not cool. <sighs> I understand that sending stuff over the mail could be scary for some people right now. So if you're concerned and are interested, but would rather this be sent after we have kind of a better handle on things, that's totally cool with me. Just let me know. I know that not everyone is a plant person. So tell me how you would use this if it was yours. The last step is I'm supposed to tie another knot up here. Tie all eight cords together at the top to finish let it hang using the ceiling hook. Just let's tie it together. Doesn't necessarily tell you how the line you're supposed to make this, but all right, this, oh no. I think that once there's something in this to weigh it down, it'll be better, but this is the finished, wait a minute, wait a minute, that is so not even. Okay, that's fine. It would hang, I guess, like this? Yeah, like this from the ceiling. Yeah, awesome. Okay, that was really difficult. All right, that is it for this Struggle Bus with Celia. Thank you for joining me. If you enjoyed this, please like the video and let me know. If you're interested in seeing more of me trying things that I'm not super comfortable with, please subscribe and hit the bell so you know when I post a new video. I'm posting right now about once a week. If you're interested in owning this as well as a personal note and some Polaroids of the kitties, please uh, subscribe and let me know in the comments below how you would use this, whether it would be for a plant and what kind of plant that would be or if it would be something else. Um, thanks again for joining me and I hope you have an amazing rest of your whatever time of the day it is. Bye.